Ocean Aqua Black, welcome, bienvenue to iHeartRadio. Thank you so much. I'm so excited, guys. It is so wonderful to, to, to meet you this way because my goodness, I was watching last night and I know that you were eliminated, but girl, you won the mini challenge. Yeah, I'm so proud of it. <laughs> More food for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> DoorDash, yeah. Yes. Poutine. So talk to me about, um, you know, clearly you're a queen with uh, so many looks, but so much humor. So talk to me about choosing Poutine uh, for that uh, winning mini challenge well, look. Well, I think uh, because the, the theme was queen of neighborhood. Of your neighborhood. So first I, yeah. And we are two people from Quebec City. So I thought, I think the other one, because first I wanted to do New Friends Inspired because you know of the story of the old Quebec and everything. But mm -hmm. I said, mm, nah, too obvious, too obvious. So I was like, what's unique about Quebec? And that's the poutine. Cause like you, when, you, when tourists comes to Quebec City, mm -hmm. they always ask, where's the best poutine? Where can we eat the best poutine? So I said, and I'm brown, so I'm gonna, just gonna be the gravy. Like, yes! I'm gonna... <laughs> so that, that makes, it... I have to ask you the question, where is the best poutine in Quebec? Like, uh, I think uh, Putzenville is the Putzenville. best. Okay. Yeah, because they have 50 different kind of poutine there. So it's... if I'm going to Saint Hubert, I'm not doing it right. No, no, go to <laughs> Putinville because okay. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna taste all kinds. Maybe I think Putin you didn't even know existed. <laughs> I, I'm there. I'm so there at your recommendation. So you gotta explain this one line to me though, because when Tracy Melcher yeah. said it, uh, oh my gosh, I left. Okay. You said, <laughs> I'm describing my neighborhood has as historical because of the history of the place where there is a lot of history. <laughs> Give yes, me the explanation. <laughs> you know what I was going for? Um, I don't know what I was going for, honestly. I was just okay, so there's history in Quebec City. Yeah. Because there's history in Quebec history. City. And it's historical because the history. I was like, I'm going to put that. And I signed my name after that. I was like, it's going to be that. Done. It was <laughs> such a great moment in the episode. I absolutely loved it. I think that's on a t-shirt like being made right now. So when Brad and Tracy said Rusical, you yeah. thought, yes, you thought, oh no. And I mean, this is going to be happening live too. So what, what did you think yeah. when you heard that? Well, first of all, I, I said yes, because, you know, I'm used to do a production show back here in Quebec City. We did uh, The Lion King. I was Pumba. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, we did, like, we, we were used to do, like, show production. And then they added the, the, the name live. <laughs> live. That killed me, because, you know, I'm not a singer. And um, in, in our drag career, we're not used to, you know, to sing. So like normally we do lip sync with, uh, on famous singers and everything. So it was really something I was like, oh damn, what I'm gonna do. So I was definitely nervous. <laughs> but you, I mean, there were some queens there who were using GPS to find the notes, like let's be real. But yeah, uh, that wasn't you, you were given it. That performance, you were all in. So when you yeah. were watching that back, what, what did you think? <laughs> Um, when I watch the whole musical happening, like with everybody, because, you know, when, when you do it, it's another thing because you just focus on yourself and everything. Now, when you see it on TV as a whole, I was like, wow, everybody was so good. So good. Everybody was. So, you know, I think it's part of it's part of the reason that I don't take it like I don't take it like um, bad because yeah. I think at the end of the day, they had to make a decision and go on really picky, picky details to send someone home. And let's get real, I really struggled with the singing. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think I deserve my, my place at the bottom too. Um, I think that okay, maybe- Okay, but can I say, yeah. I, I was surprised, it's okay, <laughs> that, that Eve was not in that bottom too. I was kind I of. Was I, I, I was will surprised. I will be honest. Yeah. I will be honest. Yes. I, I mean, will be I, honest. I love yes. all of you, and I have so much yeah, respect yeah. for what you're putting yeah. out there and how difficult that is. But, but when yeah. I when I saw who the bottom two, I was like, oh, that was my reaction. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> so I'm you not. Know, I'm not um, off there. 
you know um no no you're not you're not off at all okay but okay. i think also that uh, eve's uh, runway was so impressive like mm. the way that the, the the costume the you know the, the the art and she did it herself with one of mm -hmm. her friends and like mm -hmm. i think that's what saves saved her a little bit um yeah because yeah, those, reveal, so. those reveals were not happening <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the reveal wasn't happening. <laughs> the reveal wasn't happening. But let's let's talk about Circus Berserkus and your runway look because you came yeah. around that corner and I thought, oh, okay, a mini challenge win and that look. I know the singing was, you know, whatever you were nah. struggling with, but I'm like, she's good with those two. That runway look was was fantastic. Yeah, I was like, uh, it was one of the looks that I really, really wanted mm. to show because it, it represents 100% uh, what I am. Because, you know, I'm, uh, I always say that I'm not a size six, so I always want to do things bigger. <laughs> Neither am because I, I honey. Want... Neither am yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to impress. I want to entertain yeah. people. And, you know, me on top of a circus is exactly how I see my career. Like at uh, first I thought, what am I going to do? I think people are going to go for characters of the circus. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'm big as hell. I'm at least going to be the circus. <laughs> so, the yeah. best. I loved it. <laughs> I really loved it. I thought the black and white too was so chic. Um, wondering, because it wasn't all, you know, fun and games for you on, on this show specifically, you really, yeah. you had a, a really vulnerable moment in the workroom where you shared some real truths about your uh, growing up. How yes. uh, how did that feel to 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 share that with your sisters and and also the country and and what feedback have you yeah. gotten since then? Um, it's been incredible, I will say, because like uh, I still stand by what I said. I still feel very lucky that I'm here because uh, it could have been someone else. You know, it could mm -hmm. have been someone else. I'm one in a million. You know, so uh, and I landed in a great family. Like I wouldn't change my parents for nothing in the world. I think that the reason that I'm so joyful in life and that I love life so much is that I've been, I've grown in an environment that was, you know, um, the base of it. So I think that growing up, I always uh, grew up in this kind of vibe. So I think that's why I, I am what I am today. <laughs> so, you know, uh, if I could wish it for everybody, it could be great. And someone messaged me uh, yesterday mm -hmm. to tell me that because um, she was uh, also adopted and you know me I was lucky because I was I've been adopted at 11 months so I was mm -hmm. still a baby and everything but she was adopted at seven years old so she lived there and she told me how like it, there was like a message like a long message and yeah. she told me like what what she endured what she lived and everything and that she's so grateful to be there and that like we we are kind of in the lucky ones so yeah <laughs> uh you're just a joy i'm so excited that we got to meet you on this season and uh, and you really did make an impact in those two episodes so i wish you nothing but success i can't wait to see you live on stage go get booked and busy yes. for Merci, merci to, for coming to iHeartRadio and we just send you so much love. Ocean, Aqua Black. Merci. Yes, thank you so much, everybody. Bye. Mwah.